Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy for Ben. Come back y'all to another video. Today I'm about to bring y'all this cover three beater out of the Vikings playbook. Before we get into it, like, subscribe, comment, and let's go. Word on the Vikings playbook. I will be making an ebook soon. In a couple of weeks after I get some more like beater videos out from this on um, playbook. Make sure y'all boys stay in tune for that. Let me say, let's actually talk about these setups now. So my first setup is going to be a max protect setup. So you're going to max protect. Then you're going to street triangle. And also, with this play, if I don't always say it, always streak triangle. That's what you're gonna wanna do. So, um, the next adjustment you're gonna do is you're gonna put circle on a slant. I don't like this play like this, because the only read you're really gonna have versus a stock cover three is gonna be your deep post. Like, you're gonna see why I say I don't like it when I start talking about my other setups. So like, if you saw that the slant was kind of open, so I'm gonna show y'all this again. So just pay attention to the slant. It's kind of open at first. You see, you can throw that, but you know, they play like five yard zone drops and they run uh, cloud flats. That's gonna bag that shit. Like it's gonna put it in a Snuggie. So something I like better with a max protect setup is max protect and put circle on a post, right? So circle is gonna get wide open, but we're not gonna be looking for circle. Look, it still brings down that outside third and you're still able to pass lead this deep post. Really good play, really good max protect play. Um, I'll show y'all that again with the max protect. So just watch this kind of shorter post gets in a really nice spot in between stock zones if they're running zone drops you're not going to be able to throw that but once they start running zone drops with their cover three um there's a couple things you can do with the post setup so go back to this post setup so one thing i like to do is to flat my tight end put my running back on the option route so this option route right away is going to get to a sweet spot um, if they're running stock zone, the flat is going to match on to your tight end. Then, once again, you're going to have this kind of shallow post, wide open. You see, throw it right there. You know, rack it, spin, try and get up the field. That was a bad spin. But, if you got a dude with a good spin animation, like CD Lamb, I use him in Ultimate Team. He's got a really good spin animation. Um, you know, some of these like kind of like slimmer wide receivers, they get really good spin animations. Um, anything else? So, like, you could also block your running back if they're like sending a blitz, or you see one dude's getting a lot of pressure. I almost slipped up my words, but um, block your running back if you see like he's sending a five man blitz. If he's um, he's in a six man blitz and you just want a little bit of time to be able to make a read, see circle wide open versus zone. But like I said, you're not going to be able to throw that versus double Mabel or versus um like 15, 20 yards on drops. Not going to be able to throw that. You might be able to low ball it versus uh, 30s though. I'm pretty sure you could low ball this versus 30s because we're on the 45 right now. That goes to about the other 45. Is that like... It's like 25 30 yeah you might be able to low ball that but uh i can't talk you might be able to low ball that versus 30s oh that flat played way higher that time yeah it's not good yeah but i can't talk um you might be able to low ball it versus 30s like i was saying i don't know could you low ball this versus 30s You might be able to once it gets past that mid zone. I don't really know. I haven't really uh, played many people running 30s when I ran this play. So I don't know. You might be able to. Like, 
you might be able to but uh another play setup that i really like so like i said you're always gonna street that guy um circle is gonna be a distraction route this time so what you're gonna do you're gonna run a flat wheel so like i said if they're running stock zone this is an amazing play like every play i've shown you you're gonna have that deep post every play i've shown you so far that deep post is going to be streaking wide open down the field right every time but versus this inside pass lead to your running back as long as they're not running vert hooks it's like i forgot what combination of zones you have to put on the field to stop that but most people you play like i'll say 99 percent of people you play they're not going to be able to stop all these setups not knowing what you're about to go to and then once you mix in like some other things i like to run in my playbook that aren't necessarily one play touchdowns or like super coverage beaters when i bring you the ebook you're gonna have a lot of dudes like shaking their head and like just confused on how to stop you but um that's gonna be later in the ebook oh but yeah this this right here is really good versus default zones and uh double mabel because when you double mabel right both the flats are going to the sideline you pass lead it inside obviously if you have like gunslinger pass lead elite it's going to get there a lot quicker and then you can like low ball it when you pass lead then my running back just doesn't catch the ball but yeah whenever you do that make sure you y catch or triangle catch or aggressive catch however you want to say it. but um at this play you're still going to be able to roll out if you get the time in the pocket and they don't have contains if not you're still going to be able to throw that post from the pocket um let's see is there any other setup oh another one versus double maple right so uh street post you're gonna put your running back on a texas route and just block your tight end or an angle route however you want to call it so more or less he's gonna be trying to look the user on that deep post he's gonna see the angle route obviously we're uh not going against double maple so the angle route was bagged when he has the hook curls um i don't think i don't even think you will about this to be honest you can't lowball it like right away but you got a position catch it or he's probably going to get a knockout but versus double mabel this play setup right here is pretty good too um it looks kind of bodish but when you run it versus double mabel it's actually really good because he's probably going to use her, this guy at the mic that's right behind the d tackle or actually he's probably going to actually double enable him and use her, the guy that's over the slot and with that dude he's gonna probably run with the shallow post for a little bit and then go back to the uh deep post that's probably what most people are gonna do when you start throwing bombs but yeah so um if y'all enjoyed this video make sure y'all like subscribe con comment um like i said ebook coming in a probably like i'll give y'all two to three maybe two to four week time span i'll put out my ebook um that being said, if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, and I'm out of here, coach.